Like, why would you want to sit in school all day and just uh, uh, write, write? Then that's not fun. Like, you probably think it's fun because you're a teacher just writing and just getting out of class, but you want to see more interesting stuff. Such as fighting. I want to remind everyone that when we are on lockdown, you are not to exit class at all. Some students did exit and those students were suspended. Like, when I fight, I'm not stopping. You have to really stop me stopping because I'm I don't care if it's five people, I'ma hit you too. If you if you pulling me back, I'ma fight you too. That's that's and that's that's just how it is. I'm gonna have to go one. Don't worry, take a few minutes. You walk down the street with your main man. Um I your plan. No, no, baby. You will get caught. She just she just gotta fight to get your respect, and that's what I do. I fight just to get my respect. I don't just don't fight anybody just because they tell me something. I just fight to get my respect. You <laughs> really you are not to the classroom for any reason whatsoever. <laughs> the they can't stand at all. Teachers really? will turn your you names or you will be found in the hall you, baby. by no, security or right. administration. Well, cupcake. <laughs> I call them cupcake. <laughs> my name is Shade. I like the skateboard. <laughs> I'm an outgoing person. I'm in BHG and Polo Society. And I like to play basketball. Most of the drama I tend to stay out of. My recent fight was just with my boyfriend. And, you know, I had slept by his house, and then somebody had called his phone. So I was like, who is that? And he was like, oh, that was my sister. And I was like, your sister? But that was his ex. And I was like, your sister? I was like, let me see. So he didn't want to let me see, so I hit him in his face. And um, he was like, why you hit me or whatever? So you pushed me. And he pushed me all where I hit the floor. <laughs> and so I went in his kitchen, and I got a knife. And I stabbed him on his hand. Okay, at the point that you grabbed the knife and stabbed him, what were you thinking? That I was about to kill him. Well, I've never seen so many girls fight as I've seen this year. I believe that there is definitely an increase in the fighting. Um, we've had um, several girls who were pregnant fight this year. One girl threw a chair across the room and she was pregnant. I don't know. I just. I just fight, I guess. I don't be wanting to, but you know, sometimes girls will make you, you know, make you mad or something, or make you won't fight them, you know, or make you do something to them, you know. So that's why we, that's why I have fight. I think it's, um, you know, of course, there's a lot of peers. Your peers are on you about what you look like. So if you come and you don't look really good, then that gives someone an opening, a doorway to start talking about what you look like or what you have on, or they'll bring up something that's happened in the past. So you always are, you always have to watch your back here. I think that's very stressful. Because sometimes you have to fight for your respect at that. Because like people, if you don't, like they're gonna keep constantly telling you stuff because they're gonna think you're scared and they're gonna tell you whatever. And, and instead of the day you fight them, I guess they're gonna leave you alone. There's also the pressure from the boys, you know, how, how they treat you. And most of the boys here don't treat their girlfriends very well. You know, they're very disrespectful to them. Nowadays, girls shoot boys. And girls shoot girls. Because they, they probably see their boyfriend or their brother or somebody doing it. And they want to do it too. They feel as though boys could do it, we could do it too. So they're killing girls. It's like really killing other girls and killing other you know, boys. Shoot first, ask questions later. If I shoot you dead, then I have to worry about you later on because you're dead. Now, if I walk away from you later on, if I see you on the street, then she thinks she's too much. I'm going to deal with her right now. And that's kind of how it goes. Bitch, I'm not taking care of my baby. Bitch, you ain't got to worry about her. She's going to be good, bitch, with God. She's going to be good. I'm going to fuck you up in this office. She's going to be good. Well, mostly I want 
talk to teenagers because the the life that I grew up in, I don't want like other kids to experience the things that I had to go through. I want to talk to them and like try to stop them from doing what they're doing now before they end up, you know. So yeah, I, I, I want to talk to teenagers. And it's just so common. I'll batch you. You know, they batch it for no reason. I hear them saying that to their little brothers and sisters or to parents with little kids. They want to slap and hit and curse them out over minor things. That's something I would talk to my child about. But when it comes to serious things, it's not addressed. Or it's just, oh, fuss, 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 and then it's over with. I'm just trying to graduate from high school. I'm just trying to get out, get out of New Orleans. Not that it's a bad place, I just want to, you know, go around the city get out my life that I'm in now. So I'm saying, wait a minute, you know, what, don't you want to see your child get better? But they said, well, they just have to learn for themselves. They're 15 years old, they're 16 years old, they should know better now. I'm saying, 15 year old is not intelligent enough to make the right decision. You sometimes need your parent there to, um, to guide you. And from what I've seen, the parents aren't guiding them. If I'm going to New York to go to Juilliard, I just have a feeling for writing. I, I love writing, I love poetry. I can really write about anything. I can write lyrics. I, I just feel like it's a better way to express myself other than all the negative energy to put my thoughts and all my frustrations onto papers and just write. But then again, maybe their parents don't know how to guide them because they had their children rather early and they're struggling with life and it's, there's a whole lot of different theories, but all I know is that if I, I definitely want to see my children do well, so I'm going to be with them every step of the way, investing my time and money to make sure that they get what they need. And, and these kids don't have that same type of parenting. My parents, not my, my, my real parents, but my, my foster parents, they, um, They taught me how to be a, a, a responsible adult. And they made, they made sure that I always follow my dreams. I'm not with them now. I'm living with my grandmother, but they always wanted the best for me. And whenever I get to see them again, I, I just want to be successful. I just want to, you know, make them happy. I just want to, I just, I just want to make them proud. You gotta start from the bottom and reach the top.